Well, it's the first time I've ever walked from the United States to Canada. You ought to be glad you're here. You don't think that I'm going to hoof it all the way to Cardigan's now, do you? Oh, quit squawking. We'll pick up another car. I'm not going another step until you tell me why you're taking me to Cardigan. Orders. There's a hundred grand in this suitcase, baby. And where it goes, you go. But I didn't steal it. You know I didn't have anything to do with that robbery. Well, who says you did? We stole it, but you were there, and the cops are looking for all of us. Oh, let me go. I won't talk. Nobody knows me here in Canada. Here's where we get some transportation. Oh, I'm loving you to pieces, my little trailer and my car. Any time upon the rainbow. How you doing? Would I give you a hint? For heaven's sake. Can I help you? Yeah. Start walking. <laughs> Why should we walk? There's plenty of room and death for the both of us. Hmm. Wise guy, huh? Hmm. Turn around. That way. And if you even try to look around, I'll let you have it. Yes, sir. All right. Get going. I only know what's going on behind me. All right. Bring her over here. Get in that trailer. License number three, nine, seven. This is my own car. I'll tell the monkeys on you. Your car snitches you. transfer. Why? Nothing exciting ever happens around here anymore. The place is getting entirely too civilized to suit me. Well, I'm a peaceable man myself. All the Renfrews are. I like quiet and harmony. The hum of the bees and the whispering of the little wild things under the leaves. 
You know the trouble with you, Kelly? No. Why? There's no poetry in your soul. Uh-oh. Get a load of the yellow stripes. That's what I mean. Tourists. One more year and the woods will be full of them. And right then is when Mrs. Kelly's little boy goes out of the police business. Come on, move over. Going to pass them? Certainly. They mean nothing in my young life. Look at it. I'll bet it's full of babies. Millions of them. Well, I see one of them anyway. Boy, what a honey. Or have I been out here so long that cotton looks like silk? Maybe we better ride up and take another look before we decide. What's the answer? Well, it looks like she's safe. Oh. Are you all right? Yes, I think so, but you needn't have done that. I could have made it. Oh, I suspected that, but I didn't want you to get your clothes wet. <laughs> Hi, Canadian. Need any help? No, thank you. We're doing all right. And what about the dough? Well, what about it? You going after it? Not for them robbing redbreasts on the job. We'll go on to Cardigan. We'll ditch the car before we get there. Young lady, do you know that Rule 323 makes it a misdemeanor to swim in these waters? Oh, I'm sorry, mister. You see, I didn't know. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. The fine is fifty dollars at ten days in the clink. Well, under the circumstances, I think I prefer a nice dry clean. Constable <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, I shall take charge of Miss uh... Miss Smith. Smith? Yes, Smith. Well, regardless, I am pleased to meet you, Miss Smith. Yes, and this boy scout here is Renfrew. And in case he forgot to mention it, Sergeant Renfrew. I seem to detect a note of sarcasm, Constable. <laughs> Say, your uh, your face is strangely familiar to me. Yes, and so is that line you're handing out. Snap into it, Kelly, and get the lady's belongings out of the trailer. 
Oh, that isn't at all necessary. These things will dry on me if you don't mind. Oh, but I do mind. We have no time for pneumonia. Oh, well, uh, you see, there isn't any place to change around here. Oh, yes, there is. Uh, over there, behind those trees. Perfectly safe. If I can get rid of this menace. <laughs> Kelly, your duty. We uh, have to humor him. He's that way. <laughs> Say, uh, just among friends, are you sure your name is Smith, Miss Smith? Why, yes, of course it is. Uh, that's what I thought you said. Kelly, the luggage. Yes, sir. Smith. Smith. That isn't her name. Let's see. Alice. Agnes. Ada. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Flora. Francis. Fatima. Fanny. Phyllis. Phyllis. Wrong letter. If I had that suitcase, I wouldn't be so worried. I wonder how Cardigan's going to take it. You'll soon find out. Where were you going when the accident happened? Well, you see, I'm on my vacation. Oh, who were those two men in the car? I don't know. You don't know? Well, no, you see, I was... Uh... Hitchhiking and well. Pardon me, but uh, may I come in? Yes, certainly. Uh, which one first? Uh, my clothes are in that one. What's in this one, Rox? The family jewels, if you must know. Beat it. Find those two men in the jalopy and tell them the young lady's safe. Well, me? What about you doing it? Constable? That's mutiny. Well, but but I. But me no buts. I'll take care of Miss Smith. You would believe her name is Smith. Well, let's see, where was I? Agnes, Becky, Mabel. Yeah, oh, wrong name. Now, if you'll slip on something dry and hand me those wet clothes, I'll show you what a good laundryman can do. Thank you. If you'll step out of my boudoir, I'll toss them over to you. Yes, ma'am. Now, what's the matter? Well, this is as good a place as any. Get out and give me a hand. 